Okay, this will be an interesting one. Let's see how this one turns out. I'm going to look at that later. Oh, fuck that user interface. Honestly, folks, it's real. It's a real Konica Minolta shitter, as they normally are. Bloody shit stirrers. Bloody dickheads. Fuckwits. So, folks, I have no respect for the current status quo of the photocopier industry. Please, I've got to let you know that. Um, the industry just doesn't care about the planet or the people or the customers as such more than they care about themselves and their money. I'll just see if I can make this look good. See if this money fucking device can be made to do something good. Let's see what we can do with this shit. I wonder if we're going to leave out the red for a change and do it differently. So what do we got? We got here an Angus and Coop um, jewelry jewelry uh, can catalog or pamphlet, whatever you want to call it. I think we're going to make it roughly an A6 in size. Going to make it a bit bigger to enlarge off that bottom line. So it, oh, we've got to push it up. No, we don't. It's right to the edge. Oh, good. It's not like here where you've got that white border around it. Which is really nice for a change. So now we're just going to set this up. So we're going to make it 200 and we're going to just take the horizontal a bit bigger than 200. So we're going to make it 200 and going to make it 207. Let's see how we go. Okay, let's see how that goes. Yeah, the red's really uh, wishy-washy. It looks shit house, and she looks cold. Bloody awful. Horrible. Absolutely disgusting, the look of that. Wondering if we're going to enlarge it any further or leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. It's bloody awful. <laughs> So what happens when you don't stick to sometimes you have to stick to a bit of a, a routine and we have it's best to switch on the red for this and the biz, the brightness has to be used for that so we've lost that and the copy and the contrast is gone so I'm wondering if we're just gonna leave the hue in the in that place this is not an easy one, I don't think. Wondering what we're going to do here. Um, maybe the... I'm trying to see where it is. So that's the... Yeah, this side here I think can overlap a little bit. And give a bit more whatever. Or maybe we can um, reduce maybe some of the, the vertical. Make it a bit smaller. So let's just get that there. The vertical is going to be 100 and I'm going to make it 190. See how we go with that. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks a lot better. It still looks a bit wishy-washy in some ways, but apart from that, it looks good. Uh, wondering if we're going to um, maybe maybe reduce the enlargement a little bit further or maybe make it a little bit smaller once again. So we're going to make it 180 five just going to take another five percent off and see what happens let's see if we can make this look good stabilizing image please wait that's a typical 
Konica Minolderism. All right. Okay, out it comes. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So, yeah. We're going to make this into a master copy. So I'm wondering where, I think that's going to be the centre of the job. So now we're just going to switch over to the trusty old copied paper. We're going to throw this aside. This is going in the recycle bin. Uh, and this is going to be our master copy. Let's see how she looks in this scene. Just going to put it on the glass like so. Okay, we're just going to get rid of that. So we're just going to gear change our stuff, gear change what we've got. So we just switch off all these controls that we have here. So we don't need any more. Maybe the hue can stay there and the red will stay there see how we go here okay out it comes yeah that looks a bit yucky she looks a bit cold not cold a bit hot it looks a bit blended like there's just no variegation uh, wondering if we're going to do something a little bit different here. Now, what am I doing? I'm having trouble pressing that button. So I'm wondering if we're going to go back to negative positive and we're going to make something a little bit more tricky about it. We're going to make it a more trickier piece. Um, trying to make it more interesting. We're just going to keep it on red. Oh, fuck this user interface. Stupid Konica Minolta. The company that made this damn stupid machine and designed it. Uh, yeah, you, you can't win with with stupidity. It's always going to fuck something up. It's always the fucking dumbass people that run the corporations that don't care about the product or the customers. Just their own fucking wallet. Their own fucking bank accounts. Fucking sluts. I call them sluts because they're in bed with money. <laughs> And they just, and like a slut, they, they just, well, they might as well be sleeping around. But anyway, she looks really quite interesting now. I think we've made this look really good. I think we're going to run with it like that. So now we're going to start making our mirror images. But yeah, the love of money is a really horrible thing these days. And it's a common disease that people have. And it's why the world is such a miserable place, essentially. Uh, the people who love money have all the power and they're often referred to as pigs because they are pigs. They just, they just behave like a bunch of swine and they all eat out of the trough. And, they all, and the people that don't, they can't make it to the trough, well, they just get squeezed out of society. Sometimes they die because of this or they often do die there's a lot of countries that are in famine because of the evil deeds of the the rich and it's just a killer it kills it's not fucking fair that people's lives have to be sac sacrificed to the golden calf of money you know some kind of horrible idol it's like an idol it just it's like a golden fucking calf or they have had oh they had a Recently they just had the um, Lunar New Year celebrations and this year's one was the Year of the Pig and they had a golden pig erected near the train station at Chatswood. And I just thought, shit, what do they worship? Why do people worship fucking pigs or animals? Yeah, they worship shit. And, but the pig is like symbolic of, of greed. And why do you want to worship a fucking golden pig? I mean, seriously, folks. Uh, I don't like all that bloody... It's all about making money as well. Celebrate any kind of celebration or day. 
has been taken over by the money fuckers. They always have found a fucking way of creating a product for everything. Go fuck yourselves, money fuckers. Go take your bullshit elsewhere, you fucking sluts. Go fuck yourselves, money fuckers. Go sit on this and gyrate and you fucking learn a lesson or you fucking assholes. You don't have a fucking brain anyway. Go to hell, money fuckers. Go to hell. Go fuck yourselves.